So you've chosen your workshop. You've gone through and you've checked the teacher, the topic, the prerequisites, and the time and the money and everything else, and now you're ready to go. How do you prepare for your workshop? Hi, I'm Kashmir, and I've been to a lot of workshops. I have been to not only dozens, I've probably been to 50, 60 workshops, hours of workshops. And I'd like to tell you how you can make your first workshop as painless as possible by doing a little bit of preparation. So you've picked your uh, workshop and uh, now what's your preparation? If you are a beginner and you don't do a lot of dance and you're not terribly fit, consider your fitness. If you're doing one or two classes a week and it's an eight hour workshop, maybe you no, know, four lots of two hours, can you dance for two hours? Now you don't have to go now and actually do eight, eight workshops, uh, eight classes in a week to actually get up the fitness, but you might consider going for a walk every day, going to the gym, doing a bit of skipping, maybe upping your own practice rate. But having a bit of fitness will help, and also if you have to travel a long way on the plane, I assure you being fit does actually help being cramped up in the plane. So fitness is important. Look into the accommodation and actually find out what's available. Um, you may think the uh, workshop is really cheap and then you find with the accommodation it makes it unaffordable. Or you may have contacts who can get you a billet, so consider that. And travel, again, don't book at the last minute because you might find that the travel is really expensive. I did that once for uh, the, the winter warm-up. It's uh, from New Zealand to Australia and I'd left it for some reason. I knew I was going, I knew I was going. The time I actually went, the only seat I could find was an international business class seat. So uh, just do a little bit of preparatory work. One thing I have when I get there is my dance bag. And I basically take it to every class. So what's in my dance bag? I have water. Now please, I know it's a habit to drink water every two seconds, but having your own water is really useful. Uh, you don't have time often. Um, I know with some of the workshops I've been to, the water break is in your own time. There is no break for two or three hours. So you've just got to be able to whip out to the side, have a wee quick and go. So water is important. What else is in here? Water. And we've surely got some food in here too. Uh, yes, food. Believe it or not, this is food. Um, what I tend to do for uh, an intensive is I'll actually go to the supermarket and I'll actually buy real food and make up sandwiches and put them in the fridge. Often uh, workshop venues don't have fridges. Don't expect to be able to put your food in the fridge. Um, these things are really good because they're high protein and they're good if you're doing really um, uh, hard, hard yakka uh, workshops. What else have I got? Ah, important, notebook and a pen. And this is a small notebook. I have uh, t-shirts with actually pockets I can put them in or pocket in the side um, so you can take notes. But as a general rule, don't take notes from the beginning. Get it in your body first, but sometimes you just want to write something down. A notebook is handy. I have one of these for each workshop that I go to. Ooh, what else? Ah, camera. These days, everyone's got a camera. Uh, I'll mention camera etiquette later. Uh, but yes, camera can be useful. This odd thing is a couple of tennis balls, which I use when my muscles tighten up a wee bit. Ah, most important. Shoes. You never know what the floor is going to be like at the venue, so I always have a pair of ballet slippers, nice and soft, but I can still feel the, the floor. Um, so there they are. And uh, some bandages and some medication. More medication. Uh, any clothing bits and pieces that you might want. So you may have layers. Layers are a good idea. So you can actually take them off as you warm up. Props. If you're going to a Saidi workshop, even if it doesn't say bring a cane, unless you're absolutely 100% certain, bring a cane. If you're going to a Zill workshop, bring your Zills. So keep, keep it in your bag. The other thing I keep in my bag is a veil, okay? It's a smallish veil, it's see-through, and I can use it as a veil, I can use it as a hip belt. 
and finally a torch very important again going to Australia uh, here we have quite a bit of dusk in uh, Brisbane they don't and the first time I was there class finished at six o'clock or whatever it was it looked okay I walked outside and bang it was dark I had a kilometer to walk through the park so uh, I was bring a torch now so yes get, get your bag together put all your stuff in it and then you can bring it along and you won't forget anything okay preparation done next up we're going to have a look at what actually happens once you're there.